Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Holding on to that can cause you some serious problems. Pass that crap on. Now, right, we're playing basketball. We're bouncing that ball, getting ready to shoot the hoop. Oh, we see the hoop. We want to shoot. And, and somebody says, pass the ball, pass the ball, because somebody else is way closer to the basket. But I want to get the point. No, teamwork, pass the ball. So you pass the ball to the teammate. The teammate jumps up, dunks that bad boy. It's, it's in like Flynn. And your team gets the point. Now check it out. Check it out. This is what God showed me. <laughs> this cracks me up. You're bouncing that ball. You're going through life, bouncing your way along, right? And you on your pivot foot, you're doing all the little moves, all of that, right? And then all of a sudden, bam, Satan throws something at you. So here comes, here comes what Satan's throwing at you, all right? It ain't basketball no more, y'all. But think of basketball. Satan throws it at you. Now you're a team. You and God are a team. So what do you do with the ball? Hmm? Do you decide what you're going to do with this crap that Satan threw in your life? Or are you going to immediately, whatever he threw at you, Get it off your hands and toss it up to God. Let God do the slam dunking. Let God win that point. Let God fight your battles. Satan throws it at you, you get rid of it. He throws another one at you, get rid of it. Don't hold on to it. Let it go. Let it go. It's not going to do you any good to hang on. What happens in basketball when you hold on to the ball too long? Oh, the ball goes to the other team. You lose it, don't you? Yeah. It's a violation because you held it too long. When you hold on to stuff, Satan throws your way. You have held it too long and now you're in violation and you end up paying a consequence for choosing to hold on to it. Let it go. Pass it. Pass it to the one who's got your back. He never misses. You do. Pass it. Crap. Pass. Lies. Pass. Disrespect, pass. Financial difficulty, pass. Pass it. It ain't yours to handle. There's a song a friend of mine wrote. Cast your burden upon the Lord. Her name is Rebecca McCullough. He will sustain you. He'll not suffer you to be moved. You don't have to try to make it on your own. God is more than able. There's nothing impossible for him to do. Leave it alone. It's not yours to handle. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. It's not yours to handle. Cast your burden upon the Lord. He will sustain you. 